you know, no, no politician, I think, aspires to uh, 100% approval ratings. Um, if you're referring to specific strains in the Republican Party that uh, suggest that somehow I'm different, I'm Muslim, I'm disloyal to the country, et cetera, you know, which unfortunately uh, is pretty far out there and gets some traction uh, in certain pockets of the Republican Party and that have been articulated by some of their elected officials. Uh, what I'd say there is that uh, yeah, that's probably pr uh, pretty specific to uh, me and uh, who I am and, and, uh, and my background and that in some ways I may represent change that worries them. Um, but that's not to suggest that everybody who objects to my policies may uh, may not have perfectly good reasons for it. I, you know, if, if you're living in uh, a town that historically has relied on coal and you see uh, coal jobs diminishing, you're probably going to be uh, more susceptible to the argument that uh, I've been wiping out the economy in your area. And you know, it doesn't matter if I tell them actually it's probably because natural gas is a lot cheaper now. and. So uh, it coal doesn't, it doesn't closed, play to, yeah. to, to build coal plants. Uh, you, if uh, somebody tells you that uh, this is because of Obama's war on coal, well, you know, that's, uh, that's an argument that you may be sympathetic to. And, and that's perfectly legitimate. 